So my name's uh, Andy McCartney. I'm the director of product marketing for information builders in the BI and analytics uh, product portfolio. And uh, I've actually been with the company I joined in the late 80s, but uh, I then left and I've just recently rejoined the company. So I'm known as a retread, but uh, the, the technology's moved on a heck of a long way since I first started and uh, hopefully we can share some of that today. Information Builders is, is one of the world's largest privately held software companies. Uh, we've got a worldwide presence with, uh, I think it's 60 offices now, about 1,400 employees, thousands of customers in over 100 countries. Uh, the company was founded uh, about 41, 42 years ago, 1975 in New York City by three founders, Jerry Cohen, um, Peter Middleman, and Marty Slagowitz. And actually, Jerry Cohen is still, still going strong as chairman and CEO. Uh, the original founding product, uh, you may well, well have heard of it, was a database system in fourth generation language called Focus. And you know, since then, over four decades of technological change, uh, the company's released new products, platforms, and tools that, that uh, the primary goal is to really help mid-sized and enterprise organizations turn data into information. Uh, now, in the probably in the late 80s, uh, Focus was ported from the mainframe down to the personal computers. And, that, and that's really when I first actually touched the product. I was working with PC Focus. Uh, I remember developing a, a complete portfolio management, uh, reporting and analysis system for Bankers Trust in the city of London. And you know, up to that point in time, computing was a significant project that had multiple people, processes, and expensive hardware to create anything. You know, you need to create mainframe database schemas, procedures in COBOL or PL1, uh, in order to extract and process data uh, and a pile of paper from which you'd try and glean some information from. But I guess now with, with PC Focus, it was possible to, for one person to create and deliver kind of a timely and screen-based um, presentation in a, in a matter of days. And that, I thought that really changed the playing field. So move on a few more years to when the internet was, was being leveraged commercially, you know, around the mid nineties. Uh, we created a web-based version of the product and it was called Web Focus. And you know, this, this product's been adapted and has, has evolved the needs of modern businesses now for 20 years. And it's kind of now regarded as, as a market leading enterprise BI and analytics platform. Um, also, um, in parallel, Information Builders developed a line of data management products since kind of the early 90s. And, and that product line used to be called EDA, Enterprise Data Access. And I guess it was the early 2000s when uh, the, the brand changed names into iWay and more recently into Omni. Uh, and that's a complete data management product family. So if you can look at our website now, um, our, our product portfolio consists of two very highly related product categories, uh, data management and BI and analytics. So for this session today, I was wanting to focus on, on the BI and analytics um, platforms and tools, but, but I think it's worth mentioning our data management products because they're, they're highly related. So if, if you look at our current company tagline, it's, it's better data, better analytics. So better data enables kind of the management and delivery of trusted and governed information from really any type or combination of data sources. Better analytics on the other side enables kind of the delivery of actionable insights through, through things like self-service data discovery, reporting tools, business intelligence portals, information applications, and you kind of put them together better data, better analytics, means really advancing your business by empowering more people to be able to execute data-driven business with trustworthy data. And that's really the essence of Information Builder's value proposition. So take a quick peek at maybe the data management technology. So there's, there's really three product groups. Number one is, is uh, called Omnigen. Uh, this is a, a relatively new platform associated with, with gosh, multi-domain enterprise information management. Uh, it provides a, a single tool set of, for data integration, for data quality, and for master data management. So, and it incorporates and uh, an automates several best practices to kind of deliver these projects in a fraction of the cost and time. Uh, the second data management uh, technology is called the iWay Big Data Integrator. And that really marries and cleanses traditional data and big data in real time all natively within Hadoop and without any coding. And the idea is to create more accurate and more consolidated and progressive data views of your organization, including, of course, big data. And the third, the third area of data management is, is a whole suite of 
iWay data tools, and they provide you with the underlying technologies for every aspect of data integration, whether it's internal or business to business data or application related, real time or batch or, or, or many others. Uh, there's also actually a couple of data management applications in, in the health, healthcare space, which we offer are called, one's called OmniPatient and the other one's called OmniPayer. Um, OmniPatient is an information management solution that gives providers a complete 336 degree view, 360 degree view of patients, providers, payers, workforce facilities, and other kind of healthcare related domains. And OmniPayer enables kind of health insurers to get that 360 degree view of every member. So the idea, I guess, of the applications, their, their goal is to simplify complex data integration, promote data quality, and then facilitate kind of ongoing data governance and enable accurate analytics of data across the whole of the healthcare, healthcare continuum. So that's data management. So onto the BI and analytics technology. Um, so let's introduce Web Focus, which is, I guess, our flagship enterprise BI and, and, sorry, BI and analytics platform. In 20 years, it's really become an extremely flexible um, and scalable platform. Uh, I would say we have several sweet spots, but, but really I think one of the main sweet spots if you spoke to any of our customers is the ability to deploy an amazing wide variety of intelligence and analytics tools and applications to really any scale or any type of user. And they could be one of many types of employees inside the firewall or it could be partners and customers outside the firewall. Um, I can give you, I give you a few customer examples shortly, um, but we've got lots of use cases covering pretty much every type of analytics implementation. You know, here's a few: um, enterprise reporting, data discovery, visual analytics, predictive analytics, uh, self-service ad hoc, self-service information applications, which we call info apps, uh, location intelligence, mobile-friendly dashboards, customer portal. Um, we've got automated analytics and automated report casting. We've got uh, interactive analytical documents, alerts, search analytics, transactional write back, which uh, people still want to do amazingly, natural language, machine learning, and, and so on. Um, so, actually, we often talk about Web Focus as being one platform for, for every analytical need and trying to deliver information on individuals' users' terms, not trying to force fit them with one, one size fits all. And we tend to call this self service for everyone. Um, actually, also, it's probably worth saying there's quite a few hot topics in the industry at the moment, uh, which I think are worth mentioning, and, and also because they can tend to sit in our sweet spot. So the first one is adoption. So if you kind of listen to the industry analysts, uh, you'll hear that analytics is only hitting you know penetration of rates of 20 to 25 percent. You listen to Wayne Eckerson or, or Cindy Hansen, and, and and you'll 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 hear those kind of very low numbers. Uh, so executives and management and analysts seem to be very well taken care of by vendors. And but I'd say we've probably got 80 competitors in that particular space. But what we do is we, yeah, we support those users with some great technology, but we go much deeper into the organization and we try and help our customers support operations and frontline workers in, in what we call operational BI. So for example, at Ford Motor Company, there, there are thousands of dealers that, that leverage a, a web focus in a kind of op operational BI capacity. Uh, and they're really able to provide real transparency into service and repair trends. So the general managers in each and every dealership can see how their warranty repair costs compare to other dealers. And you know, this has resulted in, I think it was something like 40% fewer dealers being audited, uh, some great cost savings and some in, uh, improvements in performance. Uh, a second hot topic would be data monetization. And the idea here, the, the goal is, is to try and unlock the financial value of, of data within your enterprise uh, systems. Excuse me. So we, do, we enable analytics to go outside the organization and to be deployed to partners and customers, suppliers, and even the citizens. So another good example would be um, US Bank, which is the fifth largest commercial bank in the US. They've um, deployed a web focus application called Scoreboard. Um, and this enables kind of, any US bank credit card holder to analyze their account activity. Uh, it was, the initial deployment was to 1 million small business card holders, but it's, it's been recently expanded to include all US bank credit card holders, which is a po user population of 20 million, which is, which is quite impressive. And I'd say just the last hot topic is, is what we call you know, embedded BI and analytics. And you know, embedding operational BI uh, and analytics 
directly into applications and workflows. That's what it's all about. So we're trying to broaden the access to, to internal users by providing that in, in context uh, insights and analysis without ever having to switch to another application. So it kind of increases adoption levels, but delivers quite seamless information directly to workers you know, who can gain better insight into operational performance where they're actually working. So I mean, Web Focus is, is good in that regard. It supports all the internal and external use cases for, for embedded, whether it's you know, multi-tenancy support, multi-led security, or OEM or white labeling requirements. So I don't know if that was too much or too little, and I need to take a breath, but uh, that's a little overview of some of our products. I'd say uniqueness as a company or a product. Let's start with, I think Web Focus is unique because it, um, it kind of is positioned in between the two major classes of analytics vendors. So I'd say there's the niche or emerging vendors who, who might do one or two things extremely well, you know, for example, data discovery, but, but they really can't fulfill true enterprise requirements. And then maybe on the other side of the spectrum, you've got, we often call them the mega vendors, you know, and we know who those guys are. And they typically acquired lots of technologies to get themselves into the market. And they end up with a very complex and costly technology stack. So I'd say we're, we're kind of right in the middle, able to deliver that broad range of analytics to, to the enterprise, absolutely. And, and we've developed our technologies organically with common architectures and a common metadata layer. Uh, and we've got this, this kind of agile information management and analytics platforms without all that cost, cost and complexity of the big vendors, but still whilst being able to fulfill the requirements of the, of the enterprise. And I'd say, I think, something that uh, you'd Information Builders is famous for is its, its legendary customer service levels, which uh, which has won us many and many awards over the years. So I think there's a couple of uh, uh, of unique uh, differentiators there. We spoke about Ford. We spoke about U.S. Bank. Let's. Uh, I mean, we we cover almost every vertical um, without question. And uh, let's let's try and pick some in some of these categories. So Hertz, you know, the rental car company. Uh, they created an external facing application for repair shops um, and that manages the status of every open vehicle as well as completed work and it compares performance and provides analytics to how shops are performing against the industry against other shops and that's in, resulted in, in increased market share in the body shop market for Hertz. Um, Yellow Pages is a really good one. Um, they created a big data application called Yellow Pages Analytics. How about that? Uh, it, it allows a quarter of a million advertisers uh, who are their customers to report on the performance of the products that they purchased. Uh, it, I mean, the Yellow Pages offers this as a free analytics service for all local businesses, in this case in Canada. It's multilingual and I think it accesses something like 56 billion records with sub-second response time. Um, MasterCard is a good one. They've created a, a very mobile-friendly, customer-facing application uh, that provides their top banking clients the ability to see their business at a glance and make quick decisions. Uh, and that's, that's kind of a combination of interactive user interfaces and customizable dashboards uh, to provide this idea of self-service analytics without ever having to train on a tool or what have you. A um, couple more, um, AutoZone. They, they, tend, they use Web Focus quite extensively from HR to inventory control to store operations to customer satisfaction reporting. Um, and you know, on, a, on an average Monday morning, Web Focus handles about, handles about one million requests for information with a sub-second response time for everybody in the community. Cool. All right, I'm going to take a breath here. Any, any more? Or I mean, we've got absolutely hundreds. If you look on our website, there's a customer page that has hundreds and hundreds of, of, of really good stories. The one area where we've been particularly successful is, is in high adoption rates because we go. Like I said, we've got 80 competitors at the dashboards and, and data discovery, but, but mainly a handful of customers when it comes to operational BI and customer facing BI and data monetization and embedded. So I'd say the, the goal is to enable data driven business for a great percentage of your business people. So if you think about you and I in our everyday lives, we're, we're quite data driven, aren't we? You know, we, we have our smart watches and we're monitoring things. Why shouldn't every business person be able to be smarter by, by leveraging data to, to make better decisions. Um, so, you know, Information Builders is, is, is looking and trying and succeeding in enabling more 
data-driven business for users by enabling you know those customer-facing analytics, operational analytics for, for frontline workers, embedded BI to add analytics to other information applications, and and you know data monetization to, to generate greater use uh, and value from your enterprise data. So we've been doing this for kind of 40 years, helping customers derive maximum value from their information investment, and, and long may that continue.